Hi guys, it's Hani here and I'm super excited about today's tutorial. I'm going to be sharing with you step by step on how to make cherry pie cookies using royal icing and sugar cookies. First, I made my sugar cookie dough without baking powder and then I made a dent in the cookie dough using a round object. And after this, you take your round scalloped edge cookie cutter and you cut out your cookies and bake them off as usual. If you'd like, you can also make cute little pie slices and it's really simple to do. You just use a knife or a bench scraper and cut the round shape into smaller pieces. I was able to get six pieces out of this cookie. These are super tiny but so so cute. And then you just bake these off as usual. To decorate I'm going to be using three different shades of red. For the dark red I just used my super red food coloring from Memory Color brand and I colored it and I let it sit for about 12 to 24 hours for it to darken and then you can fin it to 20 second consistency. Spread a thin layer into the cavity and then while it's still wet take medium red and pipe uh, heart shapes, kind of rounded heart shapes I would say, uh, onto the icing. These are going to be cherries. Once you're done piping these take light red or this could also be pink and uh, blend it in, it adds a highlight and then lastly we're going to use same dark red that we used on the bottom and I'm just adding some lines at the very top where the stem is and then also on the side and then with the scribe tool you can blend that in a little bit. After this I would recommend that you let it sit for about 20-30 minutes for the icing to crust and then you can layer more cherries on the top. And I'm using same icing I used before, medium pink for the cherry body, and then we're gonna add highlight and also dark details. And after this, we just have to let it uh, dry completely. So you can set it on a tray and air dry it for several hours. I also like to use a fan, it helps with uh, drying time, it speeds up the drying time, it circulates the air so your cookies or your icing is going to crust and dry a little quicker. Now you could leave it like this but I'm going to add a lattice top and for the lattice top you need to use a special piping tip. Now you can use a basket weave or you can use, a, this is a ribbon tip. You want to use a tip that is smooth on the side that you're piping with. And then I used stiff royal icing that I colored with ivory food coloring. I'm going to clean up the edges. We're not gonna leave it like this. And I'm using my, this is called two-in-one tool, boo-boo stick or cookie scraper. And you want to remove those bits from your cookie. Now for the pie slice, it's basically the same thing but on a small scale. So I'm adding red, dark red on the bottom and then piping the cherries, adding the highlight and also dark lines at the very top. You just want a curved line on, at the top, that's where the stem is. And again you can add a lattice line. Now I also wanted to include some cherries with this design. I thought it was going to look really cute with a cherry pie. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to do those. I'm using two shades of red here. Blending the dark into the lighter medium shade pink and then adding the highlight on the side. So I'm utilizing the same red set that I used for the cherry pie cookies. And then you can repeat this on the other side. So I'm adding medium red, piping the dark red on a side, blending it in and then piping the light pink or red on the left side. And after this we need to let this crust and then we can add the stem stems and the leaves. For the stems I'm using number two piping tip and I'm using thick royal icing here. And I'm going to use a leaf tip to pipe a leaf. And now 
small line to cover up the end of the stem and that's how you can make these cherry cookies and here they are my cherry pie cookies turned out really really fun i love how these turned out and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial you can see rest of the cookies from this series on my youtube channel and also step-by-step -step tutorials are listed on my blog thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time